what's up y'all and welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm gonna be doing a tutorial on these locks that i have in my head so i'm gonna be showing you guys a very detailed step-by-step -step process on how exactly i got these and i just want to put out a little disclaimer i know there are many different ways and many different methods to do this style but this is how i chose to do mine and i think it turned out pretty cute so before we go any further make sure you like this video drop a comment share it and if you want to see how i got this style just continue watching So first, I'll just go over everything that you need to do these. So first and foremost, you obviously need the locks. And so these are the Bobby Boss new locks. I got them in the color two. And then, so I got two different lengths. I got a 14 inch and then I got 18 inch because I'm doing mine extended. So I'm going to combine these to make 32 inch locks because... I want my locks to be long and flowy. So yeah, so you need the locks. I have about three packs of each length, but I feel like I'm gonna run out of hair and I'm gonna have to go get some more in the middle of this video, but that's okay. You know, just cross that bridge when we get there. Next is you need a crochet needle because this is how you're gonna attach the locks to your braid. And then, I just have some combs and some clips and that's really about it. All right, y'all, I know I look really crazy, but so I went ahead and did the first step of the locks off camera. So the first step, because it's really self-explanatory, it's really just to braid your own hair, part it into boxes and put them into braids so i did that off camera because i don't need y'all to watch me do this for hours this took like two and a half hours so i'm gonna do one like in the front real quick and just show y'all first of all how i extend the lock and then i'm gonna show y'all how to attach it to how i attach it to my head just so y'all can see how i'm doing what i'm doing and then I'll let y'all just watch the process and see the final result. And also, I have a PV shirt on. This is not my school. HU, I go to Howard University, but you know, repping the HBCUs. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is show y'all how I extend the lock and then I'm gonna do one to show y'all how I actually attach it. So here are a 14 inch lock and then here's an 18 inch lock. So I'm adding the 18 inch lock to the end of this 14 inch lock to make a long one. So I'll show y'all one that I already extended. So here's one that I already extended. It just looks like one big lock. So what you're gonna do, so here's the top of the 14 inch lock, the loop is up here and here's the bottom. So what I'm gonna do is take the end of this lock and then I'm just gonna separate it, like combing out a little bit and kind of separate it. Not too much, but just enough to where you can grab two in pieces so i have that and i'm gonna take the top of the 18 inch lock here's the loop so i'm gonna open the loop up of the second lock here is the end of the 14 inch lock that we just opened and it's separated into two pieces so i'm gonna put one of these pieces inside the loop of the other lock. So now it looks like this. So I'm just gonna pull it down and I'm gonna take these two pieces that I split up 
and tie them in a knot. Boom. And I'm going to tie it in like three knots just to make sure it's secure and my locks are not falling apart. So I just tied it again. Now I'm going to tie it a third time just to be safe. Y'all, don't mind my nails. I literally just had some cute nails because I did them for a photo shoot. But they were like messing up my life. Like, I don't think long nails are for me. I just could not function with those and I knew I wouldn't be able to do my hair with them. Anywho, so now the lock looks like this. So we still have these two pieces. So what you're gonna do is twist one side down the lock to kind of like blend it in and twist the other side up the lock. Boom, that, this looks kind of messy, but it's whatever. The lock, is the lock is attached. So now what I do is just do this real quick and boom, you have an extended lock. All right, so now I'm actually gonna put one in my head. So here's the lock. It's extended, it's long, and here's the loop. So to actually attach it to your head, what you're gonna do is take your crochet needle. So it's closed right now, just like this. I'm gonna do it on, and I'm gonna split my hair up. When I braided it, I split it into four sections and that's how I braided it. So. I'm gonna clip my hair up into sections just to make it easier when I actually start so I can go section by section. I'm gonna clip my hair up and then I'll clip these back too so it's just this front braid showing. All right, so you have your crochet needle closed. So what I'm gonna do is still closed. I'm gonna put it through my braid, just like that. And then once you put it in there, if it opens, it opens. If it doesn't, you're just gonna open it. And I'm gonna take the loop of this lock and I'm gonna attach it to the hook. And once it's attached, I'm gonna close the hook and bring it back through. And take the crochet needle off cause we don't need it. So now the lock is in the braid. So now what you're gonna do is find that loop again and this time you're going to take the braid and the lock and you're going to put these through the loop and then you're just going to pull both sides to tighten it and i like to make sure it's real tight and secure because I don't need no problems. All right, so now the lock is on there. And now we just have to hide this braid because this braid can't just be sitting there, that looks ugly. So what you're gonna do is, so this lock twists to the left. So what I'm gonna do is twist the lock to the right and I'm kind of gonna un unravel it, all right? So I'm gonna unravel it a little bit and wrap it around the braid. And 
and you might have to do it like as you wrap like unravel as you wrap and this part is important because you want to make sure you're doing it tight enough to where your braid doesn't just fall out once you're done because I've tried to do this before and that was kind of my issue. My braid wasn't staying in. So you just want to make sure that you're doing it tight and actually concealing the braid and getting it inside of the lock so that it doesn't fall out. And I'm doing this really slow just so y'all can see exactly. how this is happening. So you're just gonna keep wrapping. Keep wrapping, I'm just making sure my braid was actually concealed. Also, when you're braiding your hair, like when you're just regular plaiting your hair, you don't really have to braid all the way down. Like you can leave some hair out, you know, cause it's just gonna go into the lock. So you don't have to braid all the way down, but I just wanted to add that in there. So I'm just continuing to unravel and wrap, unravel and wrap. So I got to the end and honestly, if you're like conscious about it, you could like once you get to the end, you could take like some got to be like the yellow bottle and like wrap it around. But yeah, so that's one lock. I braid is in there and if it gets a little frizzy it's fine like I kind of like mine like that because I want it to look a little messy also sometimes where you attach the lock sack can come unraveled so I'm probably gonna go get some got to be I'll show y'all give me one second so I just want to grab some got to be spray so where I attached it at, I'm just gonna spray it real quick. And just get that in there so it stays. All right, so that's one lock. We got one lock done. I'll come back. I'm probably gonna do like a fourth of my head and come back just to show y'all what it's looking like i'll probably come back after each section so yeah i'm gonna just play some music y'all can vibe out and hopefully the final product is everything we want it to be and more but yeah i'm gonna see y'all in a minute Baby, 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 I see us on the first day. 
finally finished oh my gosh my lash looks so crazy i finally finished this is the finished look it's so cute i love it it's so cute and long it's exactly what i wanted yeah oh it took so long i did not expect it to take that long overall it took me about seven hours the braiding plus adding this i think the extending the locks is what took it so long that took a lot of time so if you can do that before like extend them before you attach them and it'll save you a lot of time because doing both at the same time it's a lot but i love it and yeah i can't wait to get cute and not look busty like this but yeah i hope y'all like this i hope this will help somebody and i'll see y'all in the next one